Hi, this is Pete Taylor. The crowd on its feet. I've seen it all today. Cyclones are going to win their second Big 12 championship outright. October 12, 2002, Ames, Iowa, Texas Tech, and Iowa State. The Cyclones had won five straight games and moved to number 11 on the Associated Press poll, and Seneca Wallace had emerged as a contender for the Heisman Trophy. But on this night, Wallace would go from contender to front runner with one of the most memorable plays in Cyclone history. And the call by Pete Taylor and Eric Heft was every bit as memorable as the play itself. Here's Wallace pumping, looking, running to his right, looking, and he's going to be almost caught. Now he's running at the 25 and runs down the sideline, back to the 10. Now he's giving ground, goes around to the 10, to the left side, to the 5. Touchdown! Oh, my goodness, what a run by Wallace. Well, that is so reminiscent of the play at Nebraska last year. He gives ground, you know, I, I was about to say, throw it away, throw it away. He's back at the... he was going to run out of bounds at about the 25. He got a great peel back block at the end as he cut it back at about the 15. He's crossing it to 10, got one great block, and another huge block from Wagner. Mike Wagner. What a run by Seneca Wallace. Well, Eric, that call of that play is just etched in the memory of Cyclone fans. And it, I guess what people might not remember is it was only a 12-yard touchdown run. <laughs> but he ran a lot was, longer than that. But it was about 120 <laughs> yards uh, in terms of, of what Seneca ran. That was an unbelievable play. You're thinking, well, don't turn it over here. Don't turn it over. He's flushed. He runs back. Uh, Gave up know, 20 yards. Great, uh, great athletes sometimes can make plays in the most improbable situations. And, and Seneca did. It, it, he had the speed to cut it upfield. Uh, reverse field. I don't know if he thought he was going to get into the end zone when he reversed field, cut across uh, downfield. Uh, but Mike Wagner with a, a bone crushing block uh, got him into the end zone. And, you know, that was, uh, those were heady times right there. That was coming on the heels of the Nebraska win a couple weeks earlier. Uh, and to get that win over a really good Texas Tech team, a team that Iowa State had struggled against, uh, great to see. And uh, just the, the electrifying atmosphere it helped create at Jack Trice Stadium. And, uh, you always knew that was a possibility with Seneca, and man, did he deliver that one. Well, Iowa State propelled up to number nine in the country into the top ten for the first time in school history. And Seneca Wallace had to be one of Pete's favorites because he made plays like that. He made a run against Nebraska in Lincoln very, very similar to that one. He made a lot of plays yeah. I, you know, with his legs. You know, And I think one of the things that Pete and I really liked about Seneca was he was so fast and so athletic, but he was one of the most accurate passers in Iowa State history. He, he could throw the deep ball on the money. He had good touch on the ball. That's why he played in the NFL for a long time. But uh, it, he, he not only had that ability to run and break plays and make unbelievable plays, uh, he could do it with his arm too, and uh, the true dual threat quarterback. But this one will be memorable for the run, and that's all it's called is the run. Let's listen to Pete's call one more time. Here's Wallace pumping, looking, running to his right, looking, and he's going to be almost caught. Now he's running at the 25 and runs down the sideline, back to the 10. Now he's giving ground, goes around to the 10, to the left side, to the 5. Touchdown! Oh, my goodness, what a run by Wallace. Well, that is so reminiscent of the play at Nebraska last year. He gives ground. You know, I thought he, I was about to say, throw it away, throw it away. He's I thought back he at the, was going to run out of bounds at about the 25. He got a great peel back block at the end as he cut it back at about the 15. He's crossing it to 10, got one great block, and another huge block from Wagner. Mike Wagner. What a run by Seneca Wallace. Clock runs out. And Iowa State's won a big one, 31 to 17. A great performance by the Cyclones. And Eric, this team continues to do what it has to do to win big football games.